Whether you're trying to get your script in the hands of J.J. Abrams or securing a win in the North Platte, Nebraska screenwriting contest, making your script stand out from the pack is actually easier than you think. Hi there, it's Michael from Script Bully Magazine, and in this quick video, I'm going to share with you a super, super easy technique to help your screenplay stand out from the pack and catch the attention of film industry veterans from page one. Now, I don't do nearly as much script coverage as I used to. For one thing, I've been re-watching the entire Rockford Files series on Netflix, and that has taken up so much of my time. But there was a period when I would read, oh, five to seven scripts a week, most of them awful and most of them about zombies. And no matter what the genre or subject or number of vampires the script had, nearly all of the scripts on the first few pages looked exactly the same. And that was... The text on the page formed a long T, like so. Now this happens when a writer opens a script with two lines of description, and then lines and lines and lines and lines of dialogue. For instance, exterior, desert road, day, the Mojave Desert. A lizard sits on a rock in the scorching heat. A tumbleweed blows across the road. And then characters will start talking and going blah, 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 blah. Now, while I love dialogue as much as the next underpaid, overworked screenplay reader, I started out as a playwright where dialogue is really the king. After a while, it gets really repetitive. And quite honestly, it usually takes a screenplay reader a couple of pages to warm up to what your story is about. So if you throw in some crucial, emotional, super clever dialogue in the first two pages of your script, then a screenplay reader probably won't appreciate it as much as you desperately want them to. So here's my quick tip. Don't rush into your dialogue. Slow down. Instead of settling for a line or two of scene description and then head off to the dialogue races for 12 pages, relax. Build small blocks of visual scene description one right after another. Give the reader a chance to get to know your world, first from a, like a long shot and then a close up. Give us characters doing things in the first two pages of your script. We don't even have to know why they're doing things just yet. Just show them doing them. And then start up with your dialogue around page three. And then it will look something like this. Trust me, if you do that effectively, your script will really stand out. I promise you. And when you do use dialogue for the first time, you know, your character's words will have much more punch than you could ever imagine, which can possibly lead to a sale. So if you enjoyed this little nugget of screenwriting wisdom, please leave a comment below this video or tweet it or Facebook like it. And if you'd like a copy of my ebook, Seven Secrets to a Kick-Ass and Marketable Screenplay, please just follow the link in the description below and head on over to scriptbully.com to get instant access. Thanks again, and don't forget to kick writer's block in the ass. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Take a breath. Relax. Build small blocks of visual scenes. Milo! No!